Let's bring in Ted Faton this morning. Whether you got a hot rod going to the lake, uh, today's kind of questionable, don't you think? Yeah, if you have one of those uh, convertibles, make sure the top is up. Yeah. You don't want to get caught in a downpour. And of course, uh, maybe I'll save the hot rod for tomorrow or if you're going to hop on the motorcycle. We are watching these scattered showers right now just north of Clover, heading towards Gastonia, south of Kings Mountain. We're going to watch as some of this rain pushes to the north and east, really just trying to make its way even further towards the Queen City. But as you can see, we have a big swath of rain off to our south and west. And there's this boundary right over here. As you can tell, it just tapers off of it as it makes its way towards Shelby. The question here is how long that boundary sticks around. If this moisture makes it past here, you could see some of those stray showers slowly make their way up towards Concord and eventually towards Salisbury as you head into your afternoon hours. Zooming out, this moisture coming into the area is just going to prep the atmosphere for later on today where this line of storms will eventually arrive as it passes Cincinnati heading down through the Virginias into the Carolinas. So this is going to put us in a marginal risk for severe weather. That's on the low end of the spectrum here in terms of that threat. But it's just something to be aware of as you want to get your day started with that umbrella close by in case you need it later on today. Here's a look at your future sat and satellite and radar. You can see the clouds sticking around. It's going to make way for some sunshine. The more sun you get, the more heating you get. And then, of course, the more chances for those storms to pop up overhead. So Salisbury, you can see a little bit of the heavy downpour setting up near you around the after three o'clock in the afternoon and then another line of storms possible this evening towards the 8 p.m. hour. Don't let your guard down if you get the first round of showers because the second round could maybe even be stronger. We're going to watch out for that. Overnight, the rain will taper off and keep temperatures in the upper to low 70s throughout the evening. Your main threat here with these storms are going to be the wind gusts out of this. You could see uh, maybe some isolated pockets of some strong winds out there, maybe causing some localized areas of downed trees and a few power outages. Temperatures starting off in the mid-70s, peaking in the upper 80s later on this afternoon. Again, after 2 o'clock is really when you're going to want to start watching that radar. I'm thinking the main event's going to be from 3 to about 8 to 9 p.m. this evening. So that's going to be the range in which you want to pay close attention to the weather. After today, some cooler temperatures settle in behind a cold front. Also, high pressure takes control, giving us sunny skies all the way into the weekend. Panthers take on the Jets Sunday with a high of 89 degrees. Plenty of sunshine to go around, and those temperatures get back to the 90s by next week. Guys.